He says they were a very large people with an average height of eight to nine feet. Talking about the Anasazi. They would call them giants. Just imagine a bunch of Shaquille O'Neal's running around here. <laughs> imagine a bunch of Shaq Diesel's running around here, man. And that's not out the question, man, because, you know, think about the oxygen level and the trees and, you know, it, that's science. You know, anything in a more oxygen rich environment, you know, has a much higher capacity to grow, to have gigantic, you know, type of features, you know, whether oh. you're talking fruit <laughs> and intelligence too. like so much of your brain cells are not functioning because of the low oxygen levels which is why they cutting the trees down hey man it's chestnut checkers according to the aztec record these people arrived on this continent about 2400 bc being the most ancient of americans as there is no original wow that's why we got to get from the top man so from the top, he say there ain't no original American. Ain't that, ain't that something that suits the hijack? I said I ain't going to pop off, but I don't remember reading this <laughs> first part. So I might pop off, man. But nah, man, I mean, how you going to say you in America and there ain't no original? There ain't no original? Just because you, you know, don't want to give these so-called Negroes their place right here at home. You want to put these proxies and these proxy images of natives in front of us to make us feel like, oh, we can only be from Africa. They don't understand that they're just pushing the same narrative even when they're trying to wake you up. How you gonna tell us <laughs> that we only got here, you know, 2000 BC? How you gonna say something like that? Unless you're just talking about the proxy. Maybe the proxy just popped up around there in Atlantis, in Lemaire, in Kalelu. Wow. Shit crazy, man. I said it's cray cray, man, but they can't tell us who we are. How can they tell us who we're not? Let's go. The Mormons, well, let's back it up. Most ancient of Americas, as there is no original America. Wow. Sound like some of the parasite would say, hey, I'm brand new to this part of the earth body. Hey, there's not there's there's no original over here <laughs> in this part of the body. Or you don't want to give the original people their due. You don't want to give the original people their land. You don't want to give us our land back. So you make us follow a narrative that starts in 2400, so called BC. And follows a bunch of people that look nothing like these so-called Nagas. But we are the copper color cons found here. Let's go, man. I told y'all, man. Drop might pop up. But I'm trying not to. All people on this land are descent <laughs> of some immigrant of another continent. This is what they teach themselves so that they don't feel like parasites. They say we're all parasites. We all came from somewhere else. We are spreading out, stealing land and jacking land and acting like America is just a melting pot. They love that narrative because it makes them not feel like a parasite. Wow. America's a melting pot. Hey, the water's warm. Just jump on in. What? Rights? Inheritance? Tribes? No, no, no. We're all immigrants. So we nobody has an inheritance here. You know why they say that? Because this is the promised land. And it's so special. It's so unique. They can't give it to you. It's too unique for you. This is some regal. This is some regal business. Some royal business. The Negro can't fit these shoes. Right? The Negro can't, the Negro can't be royal. The Negro can't be the inheritance of the promised land. The Negro must be from Africa or somewhere. And when it comes to America, we all have a stake in here because it's a melting pot. We all got a stake here. 
We're all immigrants, right? All you know, hijack, is that you found millions of copper colored cons. You can't educate us. You can't pop over here and tell us when we can, <laughs> who we are. Let's go. I said I might pop up. I'm trying not to. Fifth wave, man. 